hi there. Hey, I'm working on my antelope. I had to let it sit for quite a while because it just didn't look right. So um, when I'm painting something I haven't painted before, I'll often do research um, to learn more about the antelope. I see antelope all the time, which is why I decided I wanted to paint an antelope, especially this year because I saw the largest herd of antelope that I've ever seen. And um, I did a, I think I did a YouTube video on it for my travels with Lucky Channel, but I um, had such a hard time. This is still just my second session here with this antelope behind me. But what I learned, which I thought was fascinating, so I thought I'd just tell you about it. Antelope are the fastest animal in North America. Actually, this is a pronghorn, and the only place that pronghorn exists is in North America. And they almost got wiped out, as did the buffalo at the same time, because the antelope and buffalo roam together. They always say, where did the deer and the antelope roam? But really, it's the um, buffalo in the antelope. They used to roam together. So when they were wiping out the buffalo, they tended to wipe out the antelope too, but then they came back and survived. Now we've got quite a lot here in Montana. But anyway, the other thing I learned, which helped me so much to go forward, is that antelope's eyes are bigger than an elephant's eyes. And they are eight times more powerful than a human eye and their ears are super super sensitive so that's why it's nearly impossible to get close to an antelope because they see and their eyes are set way back uh under the horns and they're very very large and they actually protrude protrude out um you know, from their face. So like this one, which you can barely see is like, oh, this is just like so weird. This is just like not proportionately right at all. So when I learned that, I thought, oh, okay, I guess I'm not on such a wrong track. So anyway, I'm actually now having fun with this. I'm laying in some under um, coloring and, and so forth, but, um, since I learned that about the eyes, I, I spent most of my session today working on the antelope eye. Let me see if I can show that to you up close a little bit more. And you can kind of see the colors. I like to use a lot of different colors because even though they just look like they're brown and white, um, when you get a lot of different base colors in there, um, it just looks... I don't know, I think it looks more interesting. So that's how I tend to do the background on my animals. So anyway, I'm gonna take a break from it now because I'm at the point where I'm gonna start ruining it. And I still gotta figure out uh, the the mouth and stuff like that. And there's, there's a lot more I have to do, but Anyway, I'm, I'm excited about where I'm going now with this painting. So anyway, I just thought I'd I don't know. I just thought I'd make this video. So, uh, keep uh, looking for the updates on this and the finished product. And so, thanks for watching, I guess. And <laughs> if you like to watch an artist's struggles, frustrations, and progress, um, subscribe to my um, art page. It's Cheryl Nancy Ann Gordon. That's my art name. Uh, people don't call me Cheryl Nancy Ann, but I had to use my full name in order to get a name that didn't work. If I just use Cheryl Gordon, there's like a zillion Cheryl Gordons out there on the internet. So that's why it's Cheryl Nancy Ann Gordon. All right. Thanks. For